welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 17th through the 23rd. The card that we pulled this week from the Star Child Tarot deck is the Queen of Swords. So we actually had the Queen of Swords just a couple weeks back from the Lioness Oracle deck, but this week I feel like it's a slightly different energy with this card. The Queen of Swords is very much about putting aside your emotions so that you can really see a situation from a objective perspective. And I feel like sometimes we take that advice and assume that our emotions are just too out of whack and that we need to be very logical and very structured with our decision making. And sometimes that's exactly what the situation calls for. But this week I actually think that it's more about putting aside the negative emotions specifically surrounding a situation, putting aside your fears surrounding something in your life. Because by letting yourself get caught up in past experiences and the what-ifs and the fears around particularly your interpersonal relationships, you might actually be blocking yourself from engaging in something completely new and completely different that you don't have a frame of reference for. So if you find yourself this week comparing a certain situation to something from your past that your present circumstance hasn't given you any evidence that it's anything like and it's simply just you coming out with old fears and old assumptions based on patterns that you've developed in your past it might be a good time to step back from those emotions and really look at what you know about the situation and about the person because a lot of times we are projecting these qualities from our past relationships onto someone in our present that that present person hasn't earned. So if you find yourself projecting these previous experiences onto your present circumstance, take a step back and view the situation from a standpoint of evaluating what you actually know. Not what you feel, not what your emotions tell you based on past experiences, but what do you know about this person? If you were to list their qualities, what would you list about them? If you were to list their actions, what would those look like? And once you have these sort of like ideas of what's actually concrete in front of you, start to find how you should feel about them at this point based on what they've shown you. Because if they have done nothing wrong, it might be time to ease up on that fear and allow them to unfold in whatever way they are meant to for you without forcing them to carry all of the baggage from your previous relationships. So really get clear on what it is that you're projecting out into the world. What assumptions are you placing on the people in your life that could potentially be there to actually be your support and you are shutting them out based on these past fears? So the Queen of Swords is calling out for you to be brave enough to drop those past fears and look at what's really in front of you. Examine it from that objective, not so emotional perspective and then find how you should feel about the situation and the present circumstance. And it could go both ways. Maybe you will look at all of those facts and you will realize that your emotions are actually correct and if you are having fears around this person in this relationship, it might be time to let them go. But you might actually find that the person that's actually in front of you has done a lot of good and maybe you should cut them a break and allow them to be who it is that they are rather than assuming that they are someone else that you've already met. So drop your preconceived notions, let go of the fear, and see things for exactly what they are this week. Clap along, clap, clap along.